This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, Julian, that, that, was a, that was a poor performance um, by Arsenal at home. I mean, the fans, give it up to the fans. They were really up for it at the start of the game, you know what I mean? Um, really behind the team, but just didn't turn up today, did we? I still think completely the opposite. I thought they did turn up. I thought the enthusiasm was excellent. The work rate was excellent. But what you had was two very, very good teams. The difference was Chelsea's owner, £1.3 billion investment into the team. Cronky, £15 million. I'm not criticising Cronky for that, but I'm just stating the facts. They pretty much went toe-to-toe with Chelsea. That first 15 minutes could have gone either way. It was a really, really exciting game. Then what happened? Saka switched off. I don't want to criticise Saka too much because he's been fantastic. But it came down that side, Saka's side. He was the one that's supposed to track him. Lost concentration for a split second. But at that kind of level, that's all it takes. And then they hit us with another one. Again, down that side. A split second. I didn't think it was a poor performance, but what you had... Split seconds change. Yeah, but that's football, mate. No, it is football. But what you've got to appreciate, Chelsea, and I hate saying this, are a very, very good team. I've got, you know, if I was to tip a team other than Arsenal to win the league, it would be Chelsea. All right. Listen, we know that we're off them, but do yep. you, did you see enough today to suggest to you that, you know what, we're going to be all right this season? Simple answer is yes. Where? It's not, it wasn't perfect, absolutely Where not perfect. Where did you see that? Okay, Sambi Laconga. If he carries on like that, 15 years' time, I think there'll be a statue here with him. He was absolutely fantastic for a young boy. Excellent. The distribution, the power going up up and down the pitch, fabulous. I can't fault that guy enough. And to think he's only how old? 21? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You know, the, the guy he plays with has often been likened to a statue. You know, today, he was all right. I, I can't, you know, he did his normal shaka, you know, couple of stupid things the center halves I, I thought they both had a great game it was you know they were, they, oh, look, look, great look, game look, look you had Lukaku Lukaku is he's nearly a hundred million pound player they, they didn't just pay a hundred million pound player because he's useless well, this is what not. we're gonna have to compete with every week yeah no, we, not, for, you, for you, most you, weeks you're not gonna have to play Chelsea every week next week yes next week yes did you see a big difference between what you saw last week at Brentford and what you saw today, what, did, what was the difference? They played better, not that much better. It's still work in progress. I heard what Pippa said. There's no, um, that is not the finished article. But what I saw was improvement on last week. I see the players that are coming in giving us improvement. Do you, do you because obviously next week is City, and, and you know, and, and we, we don't normally do very well there, as you know, right? Um, do you hold it, do you say, what, what, I mean, do you say, it's all about being patient. Even if we lose that game, it's all about patience. No, it's not about, it's not about being patient. Next week, I'm going there. I'm not going there to watch Arsenal lose. I'm going there with enthusiasm and belief that they can go and get a result. There's no mm. point in going, you know, four or five hours at what time we've got to wake up mm. on Saturday morning. Sort of, about so, morning. Yeah, about four in the morning to get mm. there. I'm not going up there to watch Arsenal lose. And I don't think Arsenal are going up there to lose. They're going up there with the belief they're going to win. And we've got to get behind them and have belief as well. And I'll take the right guy for you. That's work in progress as well. At the moment, I look, I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to say get rid of him after two games. Today, it was a good. You know, it was a good performance. It wasn't good enough. Um, after ten games, if I don't see improvement, and you know, games against West Brom, games against lower teams, if we haven't, if we haven't got the right tactics by then, then I'd say absolutely not. At the moment, I'm not going to condemn him.